church and state are separate. You can't combine the two. Everybody in this room knows the two biggest arguments are politics and religion. But anybody that's ever read the Bible knows that punishment for murder should be death. So I hope that answers your question. Do you want me to elaborate more? What would you like to know? Well, it still sounds like you're saying that it matters. I mean, you're holding us at a church. Speak up, you're holding us at a church. So, that's supposed to be. Well, yes, this is true. We are in the church. <laughs> well, it used to be a church, now it's church in politics. <laughs> Thank you for your question, young lady. Uh, all I can tell you is when a man or a woman kills another person, Everybody's life on both sides is completely flipped upside down. I supervise 12 men that are now on death row. And all the families that were victims from that murders are all psychic cases now. So I don't know what else to tell you. Thank you for asking that question. Uh, at Tri said, one of the, uh, when we do a tour with our young people, one of the things we talk about is when you walk through Triset, you'll see stray cats, occasionally a mouse, and sometimes a rat, <laughs> pigeons, and hawks. And we have a tendency to strike out sometimes, uh, even after a fly. The philosophy of Triset is you don't take a life unless you can replace it. You don't have the right to take a life unless you can replace it. So no matter what it is, an ant, a snail, a bug, you don't take its life because it's connected to the universe. And we are all part of the universe. And there's a real, a real connection between all of humanity and all of life. 